name is Jonathan Thompson, and I chose Jeremiah Castell on the rebirth of Kentucky Hill. And the start of this, uh, Kentucky used to be home to thousands of elk, and were present until the mid 1800s until overhunting and their habitat being overran by human interaction. Uh, 1,550 wild elk were captured in the states out west wild, and they were released here in December 1997 and March 2002. And since their release, there are approximately 11,000 elk in the state of Kentucky, which is a significant increase. The purpose of my project is, to, is the elk habitat good enough to sustain a growing population and expand. And <coughs> as, as you say, the methods, um, 1,550 elk that are captured and dispersed throughout the managed areas, which are represented right here. All the little purple outlines, those are public land that you can hunt elk on, but you gotta have a tag. And they're all released by the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. A, and I also created a population density map, which I created for the counties and research. There are 16 counties in the state of Kentucky that's called the Elk Restoration Zone that covers approximately 4.1 million acres. And in this in this human population, uh, I made this map right here, which the the public land use is on the far the far eastern side of the state, in the southern part, which would be right in this area. And as you can see, there's le there's less human population. As you go farther out west, or to the central part of Kentucky, there's no room for really wildlife of that nature to move that way. Which, since they're growing, they got to either sustain population or expand. So, the elk, they're basically like a boundary zone, and they have like a, no map, like a public, like, like you don't need a tag to kill an elk out there outside the 16 counties. And there has so far been zero killed out, outside that zone. So that, don't, that means they're not really expanded. <coughs> the amount of elk permits given to hunters is pretty low, but increasing a little bit in time. This is to prevent hunters from competing the past as over hunting was a big issue and why the elk population decreased. And so far the elk's population in the in the years, um, this is dating back to 2003, and this is from the Kentucky Wildlife. Um, in 2003, they just had around 1,300, I mean 3,000, 3,500 uh, elk, and each year they have rose almost 500 or 1,000 even each year, all the way up to 2016 which is, they had approximately around like 11,000 elk, which is really great for the state and really good for all the hunters in Kentucky because that means they will give out more tags. But in conclusion, the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources has done a great job of staying in that growing population of elk. And the only fear is when the elk start to expand in the east side of the state as far as people of Pierre County compared to the north or western side of the state. There is a limit of tags in that period year which is low, but it must to keep the population growing. In conclusion, I found that the elk, elk habitat is staying a growing population and not expanding as of now. Human population is greater than part of the western travel in Kentucky. In this case, many elk will stay in their designated habitat, which and my sources are the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources Elk, Elk Report, and they're done by all the management wildlife um, employees. And thank you, any questions?